Dear learners, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are well. Welcome to CBSCS online class platform and my channel Chemistry School. And this is Shafiq al Usman Shafiq with you. Dear learners, today we want to discuss about the different types of atomic model, which is important for you for uh, knowing the atomic structure. Dear learners, uh, you know the smallest particle of the uh, matter is atom. To know the composition of atom, different sci scientists uh, just perform different types of experiment, different types of work in their laboratory to know the composition or inner composition of the atoms. Dear learners, there is a long history to uh, discover the composition of atoms. Now we know uh, atom having a center which is nucleus and nucleus contains two types of particles, neutron and proton and outer of a space of the nucleus, the electrons are exist there. So electron, proton, neutron are, in, are exist in the uh, inner side of the atoms. To know this type of information, this type of information doesn't come to us in overnight, dear learners. To know this type of information, dear learners, look at he, here, I write down in the whiteboard, there is some uh, uh, scientists, uh, those guys are just perform different types of work. Dear learners, in 380 before this, uh, Mr. Democritus, we know, a uh, scientist, first said that the smallest particle of the matter is the atom. Atom. Mr. Democritus just uh, used the word atom. And A means not, not, and from means tem 9. Tem 9. Not tem 9. Tem 9 means not divisible. So, Mr. Democritus said that the smallest particle of the matter is the atom which can't divisible later. I mean, individual things of the substance. And at a time, there was some uh, famous scientist. Aristotle Galileo, they just oppose this uh, concept, and this concept are just uh, just depressed uh, for many years. After near about twenty four hundred years later, Mr. John Dalton, a British scientist, in eighteen three uh, uh, year, John Dalton also want to. Uh, discuss about the structure of the matter. Uh, the Mr. Dalton also uh, take the same uh, concept from the Democritus. Dalton also said that at atom is the smallest particle of the matter, which is indivisible. Okay, so uh, till Mr. Dalton, atom is indivisible things. But in 1897, when Mr. Thomson just performed his cathode ray experiment. Which experiment? Cathode ray experiment. At that time, suddenly Mr. Uh, Thomson discovered the electron. When the electron uh, were disco uh, discovered, then the different scientists just, in uh, just they engaged to, uh, 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 to perform different types of experiment to know the uh, uh, about, uh, composition of the atoms. Okay. Mr. Thompson, after discovering his uh, electron, then Mr. Thompson submit a model which is called the plum, plum pudding model, plum pudding atom model. Okay, this is the link for uh, the atomic structure. Dear learners, uh, our uh, in our syllabus there is two models is uh, so important for us uh, which is composed in our syllabus. This is Rutherford and uh, Niels Bohr. Before this, what type of works were done by the scientists? Uh, this is my target to link up this. Here, Thomson, when he discovered the electron, then Thomson said that atom like this, atom is divisible. Then uh, Mr. Thomson said that atom is divisible uh, and uh, he submitted some information. This information is called the uh, plum pudding model also. Here, look at this. Uh, Mr. Uh, Thompson said that this is the atom like this in the 
in the uh, um, uh, we uh, know that the water milon like uh, the seeds are scattering in the inner side and there is the surface mr uh, thompson said that the seeds are uh, which are uh, scattering uh, in the inner side of the water milon these are the electron and the outer side the, uh, is the uh, maybe the positive stars but to know this information is uh, or this information is correct or wrong to know this uh, type of information mr rutherford now 1911 uh, uh, after uh, 13 years or 12 years later mr rutherford then perform a uh, experiment which experiment is called the alpha particle experiment Mr. Rutherford used alpha particle to know, know the inner meaning, inner composition to uh, uh, inner composition of atom. Uh, what, what is the uh, composition of atom? And now, dear learners, let's go to know about the alpha particle excretory experiment. Dear learners, okay. So, dear learners, to know the about the composition of the atomic structure mr rutherford performed the alpha particle scattering experiment here mr rutherford just uh, uh, use alpha particle what is alpha particle alpha particle is like uh, the uh, ion of the double charged helium ion i mean helium nucleus the velocity of helium um, uh, helium nucleus is equal to the alpha particle and that is why we can uh, easily say that alpha is the double charge helium nucleus okay mr rather rather force just uh, uh, just uh, uh, take this uh, alpha particle then uh, uh, another apparatus mr rather uh, was taken uh, the gold foil gold foil is, uh, uh, is uh, was taken by rather as atom and there is also there is a, a screen uh, behind the gold foil zinc sulfide this is the arrangement of the experiment of alpha particle ex uh, experiment by rutherford here look at this dear learners alpha particle is double charged this is the alpha particle so when mr rutherford passes this alpha particle through the gold foil to know the inner uh, composition of the atoms then mr rutherford observes observe some uh, information here of some incidence here Number one is incidence here. Look at this. Uh, Mr. Rutherford uh, was, uh, saw that about 99%, look at this, uh, dear learners, about 99% particle passes uh, uh, in a straight line uh, through the gold foil and, and um, made a flashes light on the zinc sulfide screen. And very few, only few, number of alpha particle were deviated from their straight line like this deviated from their straight line here and very few this is the uh, uh, important information for us very few uh, about one about one one alpha particle from 20,000 particles i mean if we passes 20,000 alpha particle from this gold foil one particle just return back to its opposite direction. These are the observation from Rutherford. And by this observation, Mr. Rutherford said some information. What was the information here? As the most, most amount of the alpha particles are passes through the gold foil a straight line, and that is why the major part of the inner part of the atom were empty and orbited. In that, in that empty places, electron may be exist, and electron can't deflect the alpha particles because of alpha particles having a high speed, and the amount of the alpha particles more than that of the uh, electron, and that is why the uh, electron can't def uh, uh, deflected the way of alpha particles. So I mean, the, the, uh, then we can easily say that the inner part inner part of the atoms are maximum empty and in that part the electron may be exist from the other force and uh, on, uh, another in, uh, information from the from the uh, alpha particle ex experiment mr rutherford said that as the alpha particles are returned back from the gold foil 
few uh, very few number of alpha particles then as alpha particles is positive charge so the positive charge particle uh, when collide with another positive charge particle then the, uh, the particle come back that's totally opposite to direction okay and that is why the atoms are having a center which is positively charged this is called a nucleus and another information here when a particle just uh, totally return back totally return back when this particle just collide with the heavy particles i mean uh, from the inf information here the atoms having a center which is heavy center and this heavy center just collide with the alpha particles then alpha particles just uh, return back in here so atoms having a center heavy center uh, the total mass are centered in this uh, uh, nucleus and these are the information from the alpha particle escape ordering experiment dear learners this is alpha particle particle escape ordering Scattering experiment. Experiment. Okay. By this alpha uh, particle excretory experiment, Mr. Rutherford submitted some information regarding the structure of um, atom. And this is the atomic model uh, of Rutherford's now, which uh, is well known to us. Now, let's go. Uh, to know the atomic models of Rutherford's dear learners. Okay. So dear learners, after performing the alpha particle scattering experiment, Mr. Rutherford just submitted, proposed some information which is known as Rutherford's atomic model. Dear learners, in 1911, Mr. Rutherford performed this experiment and submitted some uh, or proposed some information. What type of information are composed in the Rutherford's atomic model or, or what, what, uh, what are the postulates in here? Mr. Rutherford said that atom having two parts, one is the center, uh, another is the out of the center part here. Look at here, Rutherford said that in this uh, center, the, the center of atom, there is a positive source the dense central core and positive charge the dense central core here this core is called the nucleus so this is the nucleus uh, from the other fort as other fort just discover the nucleus so this model is also called the nuclear model so and then another name of the other other four model is nuclear model nuclear clear model okay dear learners nuclear model and here the total positive stars and the total mass of the atom are centered in the nucleus. These are the first uh, information for the uh, structure of the atom from Rutherford's here. Dear learners, there is another information from Rutherford's is atom are electrically neutral. Mr. Rutherford says the atoms having positive stars in the center and the same amount of the negative stars are just moves around the nucleus in the outer of nucleus outer side of the nucleus outer space of the nucleus this is the electron and the number of electron i mean the negative stars and number of the proton in the center i mean the positive stars are same and that is why they neutral each other and finally we have got the atom the atom is a neutral substance like that finally here Electrons are always moves around the nucleus in different orbits. The concept of orbits also uh, just comes uh, came from the Rutherford's. Like the planets revolve around the sun. Dear learners, Mr. Rutherford just compared his model with the solar system. There the pla planets around the, uh, just move, uh, moves around the sun. I mean sun is the uh, compared with the nucleus and electron compared with the uh, planet like this here. So and as Mr. Rutherford just compared his model with the solar system uh, of the universe, so the another name of the atomic models of Rutherford is called the solar system atom model. Another name is solar solar system 
atomic model, dear learners, atomic model. Okay. So we have two another alternative name of Rutherford's nuclear model, solar system model. Dear learners, due to the abstraction of positive and negative uh, charge, I mean uh, positive from the nucleus and negative of the electron, then uh, as, uh, then our abstraction force is created that this abstraction force is called the centripetal forces. This is the centripetal forces. And as electrons are moved around the nucleus, for this uh, electron having uh, uh, an outerward, outerward uh, force, which is called the centrifugal force. This is the centrifugal force. And Mr. Rutherford said that this centripetal force, which uh, uh, attraction force between the nucleus and the electron, and the uh, centripetal uh, centrifugal force of the electron are equal, and that is why the electrons evolve with the nucleus. This electron can't go away from the atomic uh, structure. I mean, from the nucleus, like this. Uh, we can easily describe the atomic structure of the atom. And in this uh, information, in this information, Rutherford having some limitation. Uh, these are the uh, limitation for the Rutherford's model, which oh, uh, the, uh, some uh, wrong concept arises there. And what was the limitation of Rutherford's model? Dear learners, look at here. The limitation. Some uh, different types of limitations are present in the Rutherf uh, Rutherford model. One is here, limitation is one is here, Mr. Rutherford just uh, compare with the solar system here. Solar system means sun and planets are the neutral things, not charged. But in the atom, uh, nucleus is positive charge and electron is negative charge. So this is not correct to compare with uh, charged things with the uh, uh, neutral things. Mm -hmm. This is the first uh, uh, wrong concept about the uh, atomic structure of the atom. Second was is uh, the Mr. Rutherford just uh, gave an idea about the orbit, but there is no idea about the size and shape of the orbit. I mean size and shape, size and shape. There is no idea of size and shape of orbit of orbit. Here, this is the another uh, limitation of Rutherford's. Uh, uh, third one is very important uh, uh, idea from the Maxwell electromagnetic radiation theory. Maxwell, Maxwell electro, electromagnetic magnetic radiation theory. Mr. Maxwell just submitted a theory when a charged particle, when a charged particle, when a charged particle move around with another charged particle, then the charged particle, I mean always emit energy or gain energy itself. And that is why here look at this electron and the pro uh, proton in the center, electron and proton both are charged particle and electron just move around this uh, uh, proton charge particle. And that is why this electron, this electron according to the Maxwell electromagnetic radiation theory, this electron always emits energy or gain energy. If this electron always emit energy, then look at this, the electron, if the outermost electron always emit energy, then this electron just uh, uh, simply just to the lower energy level, then like this, like this, like this, then finally, finally this electron just reach to the center. And when the electron reach to the center, then the atom will just dismiss. And that is why the atomic model of Rutherford is no more here. This is the uh, strong limitation for Rutherford's atomic model. Okay, dear learners. And finally, uh, there is no about the spectrum uh, of the atom uh, in uh, Rutherford's atomic model. Also, there is another uh, limitation uh, uh, here. 
Mr. Rutherford described the atomic structure, described the electron protons as a condition uh, for one electron enriched atom. One electron just when move around the nucleus, that type of emotion Mr. Rutherford gave there. But when there is multiple electrons present there, how the electrons are moved around the nucleus, there is no idea about this. These are the limitations for Rutherford's uh, atomic model. Dear learners, uh, today that's all for Rutherford's model. And we have different types of information here. Uh, in Rutherford's model, we can uh, see that some uh, information regarding the alpha particle scattering experiment. And later on, uh, by alpha particle experiment, some uh, information, some idea uh, were just proposed by Rutherford. This is the uh, Rutherford's atomic model. We have some information here. Also, Rutherford's atomic model having some limitation here. Also, we have uh, just discussed uh, already here. So, uh, thank you, dear learners. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Keep watching. And if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you. Allah.